What's up guys, back here again, uh, just another quick video, I uh, was at my local pet store and um, just kind of looking around, they, they had uh, some sales going on and, and, and uh, a few items were reduced in price, this is one of the items that I saw, um, kind of caught my eye, um, not that I need any additional light or anything like that on my tanks, but I thought it might be a cool for an effect or something like that, I'm, I really don't really do like the colored lights or I really don't even run my um, my nighttime LEDs that much maybe once I get into salt water and things like that I'll, I'll kind of start looking at um, different colors and different spectrums for lights but uh, there's one key feature on here that I'll highlight here in a second but um, name of this product is the Fluval Prism 2.0 uh, compact powerful it's about 6.5 watts up to a uh, six foot um, 1.8 meter light beam uh, multicolored uh, underwater spotlight and it's cool because it comes with a remote um, it can be used for fresh water and salt water um, just uh, just kind of a description here it creates ambient mood lighting uh, there's a bunch of different languages on here but uh, caught my attention because of the price it's about 25 bucks uh, fluval uh, anybody in the hobby will know that that's one of the premier brands in the hobby. Um, they're not always the cheapest, um, but you know they always um, seem to put out really, really good products. Whether it's accessories like lights or equipment like filtration or canister filters or even their um, their aquarium kits. So this caught my eye. Thought I might give this a try and take it home. Um, some information on the back. This is just kind of a uh, an example of the beam of light, um, I guess how powerful it is, or, or this six um, this six foot beam of light that you get. But really, the the feature that I I kind of wanted to incorporate in one of my tanks is kind of this weather feature right here that kind of gives the impression that there's a storm going on above or something like that to really give my planted tanks a real natural look to them. Like I said, I'm not really interested in the whole RGB spectrum or anything like that, or changing the color of the tank but uh, like I said for 25 bucks I thought um, it'd be kind of cool just to take it home and uh, and I'm thinking about putting it on the bow front uh, the bigger one the 36 gallon and just to see exactly um, you know how these natural looking weather effects might actually look on the tank so hang on a second uh, let me grab a knife and we'll open it up and see uh, what comes in the box so I got the box open. Here's a, kind of a manual that I probably won't read. Um, and let's see what what else we get in here. I think there's two little boxes. Uh, let's see how difficult these are to actually open. I don't think the light is that big to begin with. Yeah, here's the. Bear with me here for a second. Here's. The actual light right there comes with a suction cup. Obviously, obviously, this is a submersible light, so this actually will go into the water. Um, looks like there is a uh, power adapter here. Um, and this will probably, looks like this is an adhesive right here. This will probably stick to the tank or maybe the, the stand even will. And then the power cord will go in right here which is probably in this box along with the remote apologize for doing this with one hand there we go so here's your remote hopefully there's batteries in here because if there's not I'm screwed nope looks like there's a little tab in there looks like there's batteries and uh, here's your power cord so give me a few minutes let me I guess kind of get it set up um, Decide where I want to put it in the tank, and then um, you know we'll take a look at it, look at look at some of the effects, and uh, you know I'll give uh, give you guys my opinion about it. Hang tight. Okay, guys, so I'm back here. I'm all set up. I uh, got got the uh, light plugged in. Um, you can kind of see it right here in the corner, and I kind of have it directed, obviously on the plants. Um, right now, I'm currently running the. Uh, uh, 
the, the regular light that I'm using, which is the uh, a Nikru 24-inch uh, light. Um, but let me turn that off, and uh, we'll take a look at, I guess, some of the settings. Here's a shot at the remote. Uh, I just want to try and get uh, a good shot of this with the lights, the lights on. But here's your, um, I guess, uh, as far as brightness, your plus and minus off on. Then here's your whole RGB spectrum right here. Um, and then you, I guess this is a, uh, this is just white lights right here for the W. I guess this is to simulate a sunrise. Um, then there's the two thunderstorm settings. Not really sure what this is. I don't know if this is just kind of a, uh, uh, a random setting, which, you know, may just do all the colors at once. Not really sure. Um, so let me turn this light off and then uh, we'll play around with it for a little bit, see what it looks like. Hang on. All right, so the lights are off, and we're going to just do the white setting first. As soon as I turn it on, okay, that's the red setting. Uh, let's do the white. There's the white. So you can see, and, and I'm going to try and do this and not freak out the fish. Um, so, you know, if I go slow, just bear with me. But you can kind of see how bright the light is. Um, and uh, it's, you know, I, I'd, I'd say it's pretty accurate when you get... Um, you know, about six feet of, uh, of light. Um, you know, it's definitely something, um, you know, I could essentially run uh, without the regular light. I wouldn't, you know, use it to grow any plants or anything like that. But, um, and, and really, that's not why I bought it anyway. But um, I'll kind of run through, I guess, the whole, the RGB spectrum here so you guys can see it. Here's red. Here's green. Here's your blue. Um, which you know you could use as a, a nighttime setting, but I just kind of want to check out these other settings, uh, these more naturalistic settings. So let's do the uh, the sunrise, I guess. So I'm assuming I don't know how long this will take, but I'm assuming you know this is kind of simulate the sun rising, and I'm assuming that this light will get brighter and brighter. Um, I don't know how long that's going to take. <laughs> uh, I don't want this to be. Um, you know, a 45 minute video, but I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. It actually looks like it's starting to get brighter, um, you know, the longer the light stays on. So that, that's a pretty cool feature there. Um, let's go into this kind of thunderstorm setting. So yeah, this is what I was kind of interested in. Um, that, that looks pretty cool there, simulating a thunderstorm uh, to give to give the tank a real kind of natural look um, again you know uh, the fish are probably the most important you know part of this hobby towards me so I'm not going to do anything to freak out the fish so if this if I see the fish acting skittish or whatever I'm going to pull the light and I'll, I'll repurpose it some other way but um, if this doesn't bother the fish too much then, then I'll keep it but you know this is kind of an experiment there was one other thunderstorm setting. I think it's a slower one. Yeah. So you kind of get the whole lightning effect, which is kind of cool. Um, so, again, and it looks like, you know, this is a slower setting. It looks like the fish are starting to calm down a little bit. Um, so this might be the setting um, that I might actually use if I decide to keep it. Um, but just want to kind of give you this little review, this kind of unboxing, and, and share my thoughts on this uh, Fluval Prism 2.0. You know, it's a, it's, it's a decent little light. Um, it, it actually would be perfect for, you know, maybe a 10 or 20 gallon tank. Um, you know, maybe even just to use as, as a regular light. Um, you know, but I think for a tank, you know, this size, and not to say this is a, the biggest tank out there, but I think this is more of a kind of an accent uh, kind of light, uh, if anything. Um, but, you know, I kind of like it. Again, uh, I'll keep an eye on the fish, see how they react to it. Looks like they're starting to settle down. So, um, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see what I decide to do with this light in the future. But anyway... Just a quick video. Just want to share this with you. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Oh, and as always, I'll talk to you guys down the road. Bye.